Okay, um, the game wants me to talk to Julian, I think, now. Just, uh, have a look. I gotta talk to Alvin. I don't know where he is, though. Or do I? He's, uh... Oh, yeah, with Alina. Yeah, that's right. Daily bread. I should take the bread to Torve Tor Toruville, or whatever. Okay. Tend to drown us on the riverbank. Yeah, that's at night. Ripples. Go to the crypt. Talk to the Witcher who took the job before me. Right. The Alp contract. Probably at the Witcher. At the, at the, at the Witcher. Yeah, well, at the crypt. Basilisk. Don't know where they are. Giant centipede. And devourers. Who's the one? Oh yeah, so he wants the basilisk uh, ones, but I don't think I've killed any of those yet. I've killed cockatrices, but not basilisks. It's not telling me to talk to Julian, but I will anyway. Arg women. women! There's one. Oh, you're a gambler. Yes. So, you like to gamble? I love gambling. Female gamblers are rare. So are interesting men. If you don't care to play, leave. Yeah, okay. Let's play. Wow. High stakes. Oh, I was hoping this would drown out the sound of Dangdeline strumming, but no. Okay, three threes. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, six gold. Six. Let's re-roll the four and the five. And the six. Not the five, that's not a five. And I got uh, another four. And no, uh, no, well nothing, but it doesn't matter. I'm confident. Woo! I roll the dice. Such high stakes in this, I'm, I'm petrified that I'll lose. Okay, we got a pair, but my pair is higher. So, yeah, six gold more. Can you, can you match that? You can. Well done. Same tactics as before. It does work. It, does, it works. It works. Just, yeah, there's another pet. I win! Wow, I won 44 gold there. How awesome is that? I got nothing for that, did I? Nothing. Yes. Bye. It's time I was on my... Well, that was pointless. Hi, Julian. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Let's see if I've got them. About the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. I'll come and see you if I find any more. Right, Hurry, okay, I don't have no any. Fashion. What's up? Now let's listen to this. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Meli tell you watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of Bobolak scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully, 
that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract, they became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. That was good. What's up? Soon I will <coughs> marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Oh, I can battle with you. Oh, hello. Oh, you buy rings then, do you? Well, I think I'll keep one of them. I shall keep the one of those gold sapphire ones, I think. Alright, so you and sell you. Sell that. Sell that. I'm gonna keep that ruby. And I'll oh, sell the woman's gloves. Pointless now. Diamond dust. Nope. Okay. Uh, you got a book. Contains spells for the creation of horrid monsters. 200. Saw this silver ruby ring. No. Alright, you got a lot of books. You got a lot of books. Okay. Um. The story of the disenchanting of Princess Ada, who had been turned into a strigger. Well, I'm going to buy that, because that's going to have me in it. Underwater, dormant underwater gods. Well, I think I'm going to need that as well. Elder, elder blood. Tongue discussing the abilities of sources. Individuals whose veins course in elder blood. Okay. Order of the Framing Rose. What's that? Sapphire. No. No. No, I don't think these books are all that important anyway, because they're not... Alright, that one. Now I read them. Right click to read. Oh, why not? The witcher then said to the king, Foltest, Pay me, sire, and I will do find your daughter in the dark tomb. I will restore her human form if I can, and if I cannot, then I will not hesitate to kill the princess. The king understood this uh, was the only chance, and to place the daughter's fate in the witch's hands. The conjurer struggled with the strigger for hours. He warded her off with silver and magic arts. He grappled with the beast, grappled with the beast and did not let her wound him. Uh, but avoided causing serious harm to her as well. Finally, he locked himself in the crypt, sealed the entrance with magic, and waited until dawn. The witchers possess great knowledge about monsters and how that and know what the roost and know that the rooster's morning call is enough to disenchant a cursed creature. That was me. That was madness and despair. Ah, yeah, I get beastry and ingredients section. And so it was, though. And, uh. Ah, I get a monster there. And ingredients. Awesome! Skull head. That's nice. Alright, let's sell these back now. Sell them back. Oh, Dandelion, please shut up. Dandelion, shut up. Thank God for Geralt, that. 